The stage is fully set for reversion in Martinsville, moving the city into a town in Henry County, the largest reversion in the Commonwealth's history. Yeah, 10 News reporter McKinley Struther explains what the process could look like and why it's necessary. Can Martinsville as it is now sustain itself? Uh, <laughs> we can get by. Um, which is what we're doing now. They've tried it all. Leaders say now is the time. The city isn't growing. Pockets aren't that deep and something needs to be done. At some point in time, your pot's going to run dry and you're going to be left uh, in a really bad position. Tuesday, Martinsville and Henry County officials presented a settlement agreement to the state's commission on local governments. They need a green light from this body. Everything that the city currently does with the exception of schools, the constitutional functions, which includes courts. Everything else remains the same. If Martinsville becomes a town, they'll have a police department, but no sheriff's office. Those deputies would likely be without a job. The court system in Martinsville would also dissolve. The county system would then take over. In total, 70 to 80 positions would be gone. Martinsville City Public Schools would also be no more. This seemed to be the biggest obstacle. Residents of the town would then be served by the county school system. Henry County Schools will get three buildings from the city system in all of its students. The hope is that Martinsville school staff and other city employees who may lose their jobs can be hired by the county. The county also takes over social services and the health department. A lot of people get very emotional, but I have to take the emotion out of my consideration. I have to look at the data and the statistics and the facts and the history and what's best to move our, our community moving forward. The biggest question remains, if approved, when this will go into effect. The county wants one date, the city wants another. It's ultimately up to the state. They haven't ruled yet. There's so much more to this story. Read about it on our website, WSLS.com. In Martinsville, I'm McKinley Struther, 10 News, working for you.